You're watching a clip from the Football Ramble podcast. For the full episode, search Football Ramble wherever you get your podcasts. New episodes out Monday to Friday. Right, let's get on with it, shall we? What a night it was, <laughs> not just on the seafront in Brighton, but also in Naples, Andy. They've finally mm. done it. 33 years of waiting and Napoli have got the Scudetto. I, I, I don't want to get all sort of on my high horse about it, but it's, it's just a really good thing for football, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. A really good thing for football. You get on that high horse. Yeah. I will do. I will do. do but, it. but I think it's really about the celebrations, isn't it? I, I mean, not didn't, just... Didn't see a high horse running around, but, <laughs> but I would expect it. But you will it. do. Yeah, you will I would do. expect I'm, it. I'm sure. So Seen pretty much everything else, haven't yeah. we? Yeah. They so, have been so... planning this for 33 years, and I mean planning <laughs> meticulously and in detail. They the, have. the celebrations have been incredible. Well, of course, they, they set up the title party by moving their game. As we were saying on OTC yesterday, they moved their home game at 18 hours notice at the weekend so they could try yeah, and Yeah, that ruined our home. BT Sports score show last week, Andy, because <laughs> you were in studio to watch the Napoli game on Saturday and it got moved. So do you know what Andy did for two hours? Nothing. <laughs> Just sat there. Yeah, oh, that's great, right. You got yeah. paid for it. Fine. Yeah, yeah it's all right. Yeah, yeah, good. Exactly. <laughs> but um, they, they got there in the end. So they got the draw at Udinese last night that, that they needed to get that, that one point to see them over the line. So there was a huge party in Udine and Jim and I were talking earlier about that that guy who was helping his kid over the barrier. <laughs> and you're thinking, it looks a bit precarious, but he's probably safe because he's with his dad. Mm. And then he falls and his dad falls on top of him. Yeah. <laughs> but there's a sense that that only happens because the dad's so impatient. He's like, come on, we got, we, we can only, I've been waiting so long for this. Get on the pitch. <laughs> That's right. You've got, you've got the, uh, the party boat going around the roundabout in actual Naples. Because yeah. yeah, of course, yeah. they, had the, they had the party. A lot of LED work on that board. There oh, was. Yeah. Oof, it was there a bit was. like the uh, Tuxedo Royale in Newcastle. Yes. From uh, back bit, in the yeah. day, revolving dance floor. What a venue oh. that was. Wow. Incredible. But it, you had the party in Udine and you had the party in Naples, of course, where Adam Elio De Laurentiis, the president, stayed behind, opened up the stadium. They had big screens, they had 50,000 people in. But they've got five more games left in this season. So they're just going to party for all of them. It's yeah. amazing, isn't it? I, yeah. was, I was in Naples uh, in March, was it, when England played against Italy yeah. uh, in that stadium. And I tell you what, like around the city, they were ready for it then. Everywhere mm. you look, there's blue and white streamers everywhere in the street. There yeah. were shirts everywhere just hanging up on street corners. And everywhere you look, there is a presence of that Napoli team. It's quite sensational and incredible that they've, they've done it. It's just an amazing story, isn't it? Yeah, it's brilliant. Yeah. Did you see the fireworks? Yeah. All, all the red fireworks hanging in the air yeah. as if like it's some sort of new weather phenomenon where there's well, just fireworks well, floating got, around all well, the time. You got, you, got the you got the party in Brighton, you got the party in uh, Naples. The fish must be gone. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is going I'm on? not going to lie, Pete. I, so obviously, because I was working last night at this at the Brighton game, I sort of forgot that the that the Napoli thing was happening mm. last night because I was very concentrated on the, the yes. Brighton Man United yeah. game. So when I um, finished and I went on Twitter quickly, I saw these fireworks. I was like, wow, they're really taking this wind <laughs> to heart down on the sea front in Brighton. I genuinely was like, what is that? Yeah, is to that be fair, the, the fireworks are very necessary in Brighton, aren't you? you? You'll know this as well as anyone, Jules. Mm. Particularly like Brighton goes nuts for fireworks night. And partly it's a show of force to stop the seagulls thinking that they can finally like, go over the top and make a grab for the city. Once yeah. a year, you've got to show that power. <laughs> Otherwise, true. they will stage Take a coup. Over, yeah. <laughs> they are evil. Aren't yeah, they? And, uh, Seagulls generally. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Cheers for watching another fantastic clip from the Football Ramble podcast. Make sure you click like on this video and subscribe to the channel, which means you will not miss a single upload.